Hello, good morning, how are you? I am okay, I am a little sleepy, um, but I am good. Um, so today we are going to review. We are going to go over what we have learned in the past three weeks about yourself and about your home, your house. What do you like to do? Where do you do it? What time, etc. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so as I just mentioned, today is just going to be a review. We are going to go over what we have learned in the past three weeks. So we are going to talk about rooms in the house, activities in the house, and also introducing yourself. Okay, so now we are going to go into the rooms and activities. So the bedroom. So if you remember correctly, in the bedroom, this is where you sleep. This is where you change clothes. So in the bedroom, this is where we have pillows, blankets, and a bed. So if you remember, I just mentioned the activities in the bedroom are getting dressed, going to sleep, and waking up. Those are the activities that we have covered. So we have getting dressed, we need to change your clothes, going to sleep, you know, waking up. So those are the activities in a bedroom. Bedroom. And then some of the items that we covered of a bedroom, we have a pillow, then we have a bed, and then we have a blanket. So these are all in a bedroom. A bed, a pillow, and a blanket. The next room or part of a house we covered is the closet, the closet. So if we remember correctly, the closet is mainly just where you put clothes or where you get dressed. You can also get dressed in a closet. You put on clothes, a new shirt, you're getting dressed, blah, blah, blah. And what we have there are clothes such as a shirt, pants, shorts, maybe a dress. These are all items in a closet. Shoes and hats also. So maybe a hat or some shoes. Now we have the restroom, bathroom, toilet, which we will call restroom. This is where you can, you can also get dressed, so taking off your clothes. You can take a shower, clean, 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 or brush your teeth. This is where you can brush your teeth, wash your hands, this is what you do in a restroom. And some of the small items that we have there are, we have a shower, a toilet, a toothbrush, toothpaste, all of these in a restroom. Then we have living room. So in the living room, with you remember, this is where you can relax with your family. So maybe we have a TV, sofa, a table, so what you can do in the living room is you can watch TV, you can listen to music, you can read a book. The living room is where you can relax. So the living room is for fun, maybe play games, maybe just sit down, just relax in the living room. And some of the items that I mentioned were a TV, a sofa, coffee table, um, they maybe have pillows, all different things in the living room, a book, everything in a living room. Then we have the kitchen, the kitchen. So if you remember the kitchen, this is where you can cook food. So the main things that you do in the kitchen are maybe you cook food or maybe you wash the dishes. Cook food, washing the dishes. So some of the items that you might find in the kitchen are a sink or a fridge, an oven, or a microwave. Many, many more. You all have food. Maybe you have bread. Maybe you have ham. Maybe you have cheese. Um, all of this in the kitchen. You have soap to wash your hands, to wash dishes. Um, these are things in a kitchen. 
Then we have the dining room. The dining room, this is where you eat food. So you have a table, you have chairs, you can eat food, you can do work. I do work in a dining room. Right now, I am in my dining room. Um, items. So we have maybe a table, chairs, plate, fork, spoons. All of these items are in a dining room. Study or office. So the study or office is where you can do work or you can read, you can write. So it's for working, reading, and writing. This is for maybe you do homework or maybe you go on computer. This is all for the um, study or office. So the items here are a paper, a pen, a pencil, computer. All of these items you can maybe find in a study or office. So the laundry room, the laundry room. So this is where you do laundry. This is for doing laundry, ironing clothes, washing shorts, washing a shirt, all of this in the laundry room. And of course you have clothes, you have a washing machine, maybe a drying machine, maybe an iron to iron, all of these in the laundry room. Then we have the garage, the garage. So if you remember correctly, the garage is where you can have maybe your car or maybe a bike and you put some tools. So it's for storing tools or parking a car or a bike. So the garage, this is where you put your car, where you park your car and maybe you have boxes of tools, maybe a hammer, maybe a screwdriver, all of this in the garage. So some of the items you might find in the garage are maybe you find the car or a truck. I have a truck, um, maybe a bike, a bicycle, and you will find tools. Like I said, a hammer or a screwdriver, all of these in a garage. Garage is used to put stuff or cars, trucks. Then we're going to look at the difference between inside and outside. So if you remember, inside, the girl is inside the house. The girl is outside the house. So we have inside and we have outside. Some examples are, so this is inside. The living room is inside the house. So example of activities you do inside a house are maybe you can feed the dog inside. Maybe you sweep the floor or maybe you water the plants, or maybe you exercise inside. So feeding the dog, sweeping the floor, watering the plants, and exercising can all be done inside. Outside, so outside is what is not inside. So outside you have trees, you have birds, you have grass, um, you have the sky. So in outside, you can also, maybe you have an outside dog. So feeding the dog outside, sweeping the floor outside, watering the plants outside, exercising outside. Maybe you go running outside, or maybe you play football outside, play volleyball outside, or you can play volleyball inside too. And then we have driving a car. So a car, you definitely drive outside on the street on the road so now that we have reviewed what we learned in the past three weeks we are going to go into sentence structure so this is how we design our sentences so if you remember some of the easier ones that we had are asking where so where is the book where is the study where is the pen? Where is the pencil? So for example, where is the book? The book is in the study. One book. So we have two books. So where are the books? The books are in the study. This is asking where an object is. 
Now we're asking with prepositions. So with more information. So we will ask, where is the book? The book is on the table in the study. So here we are clarifying where in the study is the book. The book is on the table in the study. Next we have, where are the books? The books are on the table in the study. The books are on the table in the study. So this is also two books. Where are the books? Two books, three books, four books. Where is the book? One book. Okay. Next question that we have is an activity. So asking where you do an activity. So for example, where do you cook food? I cook food in the kitchen. Where do you do something? You answer with the I, the activity in the location. Okay. Our next is asking how often. So how often do you do something? Where do you cook food? I cook food in the kitchen, but how often do you cook food? How often do you cook food? So for example, the answer is, I cook food three times a day. I cook food three times a day. So you say I, the activity, and then how often. Let's look at some of the examples of how often again. So overall, maybe I never cook, I do not cook. Or maybe I cook all the time. I work in a restaurant, I cook all the time. Per day, one time a day, two times a day, Per week, one time a week, four times a week, per month, one time a month, five times a month, per year, one time a year, six times a year. So these are all examples of how often you do something. How often. The last question that we covered was asking what time you do an activity. So what time? So what time do you cook food? I cook food at 7 a.m., 12 p.m., and 8 p.m. What, what time do you cook food? So this week, we will not have a worksheet. No worksheet, no work online. All you're going to do is record a dialogue or a conversation. So only two people and you're going to put the video on Google Classroom. Um, the dialogue will just be you talking to one person, asking questions about activities and stuff that you do. Here are some examples. Okay, so during your conversation, you are going to have to answer some questions. These are the questions you're going to answer. So what is your name? What is the number? Where do you live? And how many rooms in your house? So my house has 11 rooms, one, one, 11 rooms. We have three bedrooms, two restrooms, one kitchen, one dining room, one laundry room, two living rooms, and one garage, 11. So how many rooms do you have in your house? So maybe you have one room, one restroom, two rooms. Maybe you have one room, one bedroom, one kitchen, one restroom, three rooms. Maybe you have two bedrooms, one living room, one kitchen, one restroom, five rooms. So how many rooms in your house? Then what do you like to do? You're going to have to say these four times. So. I like cooking, I like driving a motorcycle, I like reading a book, I like washing clothes, I like doing laundry. Four things. So then you're going to have to answer where do you do each activity? So where do you cook? I cook in the kitchen. Where do you drive a motorcycle? I drive a motorcycle outside. Where do you read a book? I read a book in the living room. Where do you where do you do laundry? I do laundry in the living room. Then we're going to answer, how often do you do the activity? So 
How often do you cook? I cook one time a day. How often do you drive a motorcycle? I drive a motorcycle all the time. How often do you read a book? I read a book three times a week. How often do you do laundry? I do laundry one time a week. Then you are going to have to answer, what time do you do this? So what time do you cook? I cook at 7 p.m. What time do you drive a motorcycle? I drive a motorcycle all the time. What time do you read a book? I read a book at um, 6 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Or what time do you do laundry? I do laundry at 7 p.m. on Sundays. So these are the type of questions you will have to ask a friend. You're going to have a conversation with one person and then you will ask your friend and your friend will ask you. And you will record a video on maybe your phone and you will put on Google Classroom, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'm very happy to teach you. I cannot wait to see you in person. Um, I will see you all next week. Um, goodbye.